perks of a rainy day in a van. Got a wet pup. It's a super cold rainy day and this is going to be the first time that we've actually had a hot coffee in a really long time and I am looking forward to it. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Come here. The not so fun part of a dog in a van. <laughs> Need to find like a little rain jacket with an umbrella on top of it to put a, <laughs> to have her wear. Oh, Gabs, you need a rain jacket. <laughs> You're a wet pup. Do you want a treat? Is that what you want? <laughs> Today's definitely a hangout and chill inside kind of day. It'd be great to turn on the heated floors, but it's supposed to be rainy and cloudy for the next few days. So we definitely want to try and conserve our power. So instead, we have the slippers on and we're going to turn on our heater for the first time in a really long time, probably like six or eight months. You know that smell when you turn your heater on for the first time that year? That's exactly what it smells like in here. There's no telling how much dust and debris just like blowing around in the air. It stinks pretty bad, honestly, but um, it's gonna be nice to warm up a bit. All of these have been laying in this seat for the better part of the last few weeks. And I really had every intention of fixing our table and putting the tools back up, but that never happened. So our pullout drawer, the actual drawer pull itself, has quite a bit of play in it. And the way that we designed this was pretty poor really. So there's no access to the back side of that because the screw holes butt up into the actual table part. So we have to pull the entire face of it off to get to the back of that. And then probably just going to put this like Loctite stuff on the threads just to hold it. But we figured what better day to do it than today. We actually have some downtime and maybe I can actually get all of these tools off of our bench seat. So not only did we screw it in from the backside, but we also nailed it in the front. And the reason we ended up putting screws in the back is because we thought we'd pull the entire faceplate off. So somehow we're going to have to just like rip the entire plate off, hopefully, and hopefully we didn't glue it too. I don't really remember. That would um, be pretty tragic actually. Well, that wasn't so bad after all. Um, no wonder we had to put screws in it. I only put two finishing nails in it. So that wasn't very smart. <laughs> Not going to lie, after that, I kind of feel stupid for leaving those tools out for so long. <laughs> I really thought it was going to be more of a pain in the neck than that, but uh, yeah, so that's done, which is nice. Hopefully, um, hopefully that permalock works, man, because that's something that we deal with quite often is just these little things, they get loose just from bouncing around and us pulling on them. You can see this buddy's loose here. So it's just something we kind of have to keep on top of, but that one's just more of a pain because there's not really a great access to the backside of the screws. Hey babe, I think I'm gonna make some tea. You want some? Yeah, I'll have some tea. <laughs> Today just seems like a perfect day to have a warm cup of tea. It's all cold and rainy and kind of dreary. It just seems like something cozy to do. We don't have a kettle in the van. It takes up a lot of space. I know there's those collapsible ones. We don't drink tea a ton, but we might start more when it gets colder. So we're just using a pot, boiling the water, and then steeping the tea. <laughs> This is 
what a lot of our day looks like on any day. Always giving Gabby puppy love. <laughs> Appreciate yourself and honor your soul. <laughs> Little inspirational things. <laughs> Steep or brew, it's up to you. Not so <laughs> inspirational in this one. <laughs> I like that better. How many of you that live in a van have a pet? Do you think pets in a van are a good idea? Or not traveling with a pet is better? Leave it in the comments below. We, of course, wouldn't have it any other way. She's our baby girl. Yeah, but when she's gone, we'll definitely have it another way because she, she really hinders our selfishness. Sorry, it's true. <laughs> Even though we're cooped up in this tiny little space on this cold rainy day, there is something I really enjoy about it. I don't know if it's because we haven't seen rain in so long since we've been traveling through the southwest, or if it reminds me of home, or maybe it just gives us the opportunity to kick back and relax and not feel like we have to go, go, go all of the time. Regardless, it has been nice to kind of just hang out and enjoy our time. We're gonna make Korean lentils for dinner tonight, which is basically lentils, mushrooms, and a sauce, and we add broccoli, rice, and kimchi to it. So it's gonna be perfect to warm us up today. One good thing about cooking on a cold day is it really warms the van up. The van's already gone up a couple of degrees and this is one of our favorite meals that we make in the van. If you've never had kimchi, it's like a really bold, strong flavor and it's really not that great on its own. I'll eat it on its own because I like strong stuff. I'll eat like straight garlic and all of that. But it really complements the mushrooms, lentils, and broccoli very well. We unknowingly put our heater in the perfect place to keep your toes extra toasty. I just love sitting here and keeping my legs or my feet right in front of it and just warming them up because my feet are always freezing cold. Time for our favorite part. It was mighty tasty. Thanks for hanging out with us on this rainy day today. We hope you all enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're Ben and Jelaine with Nomadic Visuals and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.